All right, new season drop. Yay, let's go. New season, let's go. And um, I just want to get my first impression about it because I did play the game a couple hours. And um, don't mind me, I think I got food poisoning because I did get a large mocha frap from McDonald's. And yeah, I think that was a terrible idea of getting that. I mean, I got it for free on the McDonald's app. So yeah, don't mind me if I start gagging. And if I forget to cut it out, so new new season, new opinion, new first impressions. All right, here we go. Let's talk about the battle pass. In my opinion, and in, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion. Don't hate me. I feel like this is gonna be a forgettable battle pass. Uh, I I like him, but I don't think I'm gonna run him. All right, so we got Evie first first skin you unlock. I definitely like her. Am I gonna run him? No, probably not. Uh, probably whenever I unlock him, I want to test him out and see it. But yeah, Evie, I'm running for now, but. Maybe, I don't know, later, once I unlocked more of the skins, I'm probably just going to forget about it. <laughs> uh, Snap, it's the customizable skin that we got this season. I generally like the customization. There's definitely a lot more customization on um, the skin this season. Like, a lot more. Probably a lot more than the alien that we got last last chapter. Am I going to run him? Probably not. <laughs> Adria, 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 Adria. I don't, know, I don't really know the name. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Probably a sweaty skin. I'm not sure though. Am I gonna run it? Probably, probably not. We got Storm Farmer, which I'm just I, I I'm probably gonna run because the black edit style I generally do like. The the helmet edit style I hate. I generally hate, so I'm probably not gonna run that edit style, but I'm definitely gonna run the black one. Uh Malik. Really cool, but a sweaty skin probably. It's probably gonna be one of the sweaty skins this season. Am I gonna run her? Oh wait, it's Malik is the it's the king. Oops. And the Sabana is the emo one. Uh, or the sweaty one that, that that I mentioned. I think I'm not looking back, but <laughs> yeah, pretty cool skins. Uh, I think I think Sem Sembia is gonna be the sweaty skin because it's an emo trick, I guess. I don't know. Am I gonna run him? Probably, probably not. Secret skin, Indiana Jones. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that he's in Fortnite, but why? It's so out of place. And then tier 100, we got Doris Vader. Cool. Where's the lightsaber pickaxe? <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's my only complaint about this. this uh, we only got one good thing that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. A dance emote! Finally! Jesus, it's been such a long time since we actually got a dance emote. And I actually like it. I know it's a TikTok dance, but come on. It's a dance emote. We finally got a dance emote. That's actually good for once. Jesus, it's been such a long time since we actually got one. And that's in the battle pass, so. I think that's the only thing that I like about it. Every other thing is probably forgettable for me probably not gonna run it that much but overall i do like it i'm probably not gonna go to my locker and say like oh here's this skin i'm gonna run it for a bit now nah, the only thing that i'm probably going to run back to back is the storm farmer because i actually generally do like the the skin and probably malik i'm not sure though i need to run it first to see if i actually like the whole cloak thing and all that see if it doesn't see if it doesn't get in the way and all that so yeah that's all i gotta say about the battle pass pretty good but easily forgettable now let's talk about the map changes the map changes is actually something that actually overall changed the map they finally changed the map <laughs> instead of just going bloop small little change bam there you go it, the, the map has actually changed so we got Two new locations and a lot of small changes on the map. First one is Reality Falls. It's the big, huge tree that's actually really pretty. It's pretty awesome because, like, if you go on the on top of the tree, you can glide and all that. And I, I actually do think that's really awesome. It's an easy maneuver. Pretty cool. You got these little mushroom things. If you jump on it, you get you go really high and you gain health and shield. Uh, but I think it's only ten. And we also got this roller coaster ride thing. I totally forgot what the name of the location is i think it's called rave cave i'm not sure but i actually like it i actually like it like a a as playing casually i generally do like it but playing duos with my friend and having to sweaty lobbies is just really annoying <laughs> gotta be honest <laughs> poi changes are actually pretty neat i actually like it I, I actually do like these map changes and it actually brings life into the map unlike the past seasons where they did like little tiny changes but still be the same map i mean i, I mean they're actually listening to us and they're putting some changes because a lot of people complain how like the map is just bland uh this season's map is just bland because they hardly change anything so yeah cool change cool change one cool thing about this is that you can ride animals now like i think that's generally the 
only good thing that I like about it this season. You can ride wolves and boars and you can build while riding them. So you can crank 90s while riding the boar or a a wolf. I was laughing whenever I discovered this. So I, I, I generally like that. They're not useless anymore. And uh, they do have stamina, but you can refill it by feeding a wolf meat or the boar mushrooms. That will restore the health and the stamina. A lot of people don't really know about that, but you can do that. So we got a new thing. We got a new thing this season, and it is called the Reality Seed. So it's basically like a mini loot box in Apex, I guess you could say, where you plant it down, and depending on like how it is, it'll, it'll be like a certain rarity. So there's, uh, there's like these little grape circle things that you can pick, and depending on what color it is, it's depending on which rarity of weapon you have and to increase that i think you have to remove roots to increase the rarity and it can go up to mythic this is actually pretty useful and no one's really touching these for now so during time it is going to be annoying because people are going to figure that out and people are going to you know discover this and um it's useful if you get rebooted or something and you see like a reality seed just planted because you can steal like um the loot from the reality seeds from other people and it will also display the name who planted the seed. So you can also use that as like a little tracker to see like how, how they're moving and all that. So it, it's a, it's really cool. And I really like it. I think this is a really good change. So yeah, overall the map changes are really cool. I like it. Uh, they brought back the ballers, but you can't recharge them for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, overall really good map change. I actually do like it. Now let's talk about the controversial thing. I, I, I mean, probably a lot of people will agree with me, but this season's weapon changes are actually pretty doo doo far and I don't like it. I don't like any of the new weapons. So two shot shotgun, pretty bad. It shoots two bullets, but it takes like three seconds to shoot another bullet because you have to reload and it's kind of it's kind of dumb. It does like 50 to 60 damage each bullet, depending on the rarity. Probably higher, because I never got in a legendary or an epic. I've only got a uh, rare and uncommon. Uh, like, those are the other things that they add, and they only shoot like 50 to 60 really close. And it's pretty annoying, but I think, I, I think I'll get used to it and start liking it. Uh, the designated marksman rifle, DMR. This is the only weapon that I like uh, to add this uh, weapon change. The only weapon that I like. Because it's a sniper, it acts like a sniper, so you have to be a little bit of a head if you're at a far distance to actually get damage. It does take a second to actually take damage, so you do have to, like, think and don't just shoot it dead on. You have to be a little bit of a head or behind to actually take damage, so pretty cool. I actually do like that, this weapon. But the other one that I don't like is a hammer assault rifle. It's pretty useless. It's pretty dumb. I don't like it. Just... Unvault the MK7 and we're good. One complaint, though, is that the heavy snipers are so common. It's annoying. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the, the heavy uh, snipers are pretty common in the game. So it's extremely annoying while you're just running around and someone just snipes you with the heavy and you take a lot of damage. Just decrease the rate of where heavy, heavy snipers appear and replace them with DMRs. I mean, I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place, but I mean, there here we are. <laughs> Overall weapon pool in the in new weapons. Pretty doo doo. Just go with the old old school weapons. Get the striker shotgun or get the heavy shotgun. Heavy shotgun is way better than the double shotgun. Probably. I'm not sure though. I haven't fully tested that out. I only play bot lobbies and a couple of real life matches and every time I get with the new weapons, I just die. Yeah, stick with the old weapons. Stick with the sh striker. Get the SMG. Get the burst AR. I call it a burst AR. And yeah, you're good to go. Overall, I don't really know about this. My main complaint is the XP system, which I'll get to that later. But battle pass is okay, but forgettable. Map changes is, is really huge, and I thoroughly really enjoy it because you can ride animals now. And it's actually pretty fun going through the map instead of being bland. Weapon pool, just just why I hate it. But thank God they still have the old weapons. If they would have just removed all the old weapons and kept like the new ones, I, 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 yeah, I feel like this season would be terrible. And... Uh, we only have one good emo this season now okay i'm gonna talk about the xp system because people have been talking about it it's been really controversial too they've increased the amount of xp you need because originally to get a level you need around 75k xp they up that up 5k so you now need to get 80k xp and the challenges for the battle royale portions don't even get a quarter of that so the only way to actually level up this season is to either play save the world which you can level up four times um in one day daily or you need to play creative and do your creative xp for the day those are the only things that that help you in, like level up and that really sucks because i really like the map 
I really like exploring. I like going to bot lobbies and exploring and doing my challenges and grinding, but <sighs> challenges hardly give you any XP. It's really difficult to level up if you're just sticking with the battle royale. Um, during time, I, I think they're going to increase it, so I don't feel like it's going to be that useless. But overall, yeah, it's back to like last time whenever they changed the whole XP system. I think it was chapter 2 season 8. I'm not really sure though. So back to that. I think they're going to change it over time. Let's, let's hope so. But yeah, anyways, those are my overall first impressions about this season. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell on this channel and make sure to sub and turn on that bell on my main channel because I'm planning on making a video. Finally, it's been like two months. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what to make, man. It's been hard for me trying to get ideas, especially the environment that I'm in and also my physical condition. I am getting tested and all that. Finally, I finally went to another doctor and, I've, uh, and they finally scheduled me for like testing and all that. Last doctor I've had, they just told me that it was just ingrown hairs, but now nah, it was something completely different. I even have records about it and uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk about that later on, but all that's been happening and I haven't been taking the time of recording a video so yeah I'll, I'll get back to that later on probably after all of this is over all of like my testing and all that's over trying to figure out what what is wrong with me trying to fix myself but yeah that's all i gotta say uh turn on the bell and all that make sure to follow my twitch as well because i stream on youtube and twitch youtube on my main channel and then twitch on on twitch i stream both of those at the same time so make sure to go turn on that bells on both because if i do upload this on the six because I, I will be streaming the Sonic Central uh, tomorrow. So make sure to turn on that bell to see when I go live. And make sure to go follow my TikTok too because I've been uploading those a lot more. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good morning, evening, or night. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Dougie, Dougie, no. Dougie, no, Dougie, please. <laughs> please come. <laughs> no, stop going high. No. Oh, oh my God. Thank God, Jesus Christ. Well, I found a bug.